Hey guys, this is Paul Potter, the Grand Lake Guy. Today we're going to be fishing with minnows and jigs and seeing which one is better. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Paul Potter. This channel is all about helping you increase your crappie fishing catch rate by sharing tricks and techniques that I use as a crappie fishing guide on Grand Lake in Oklahoma. So if you love crappie as much as I do, make sure and hit that subscribe button, give us a like by hitting the thumbs up below, and then go ahead and type slabs down into the comments section. Okay, so I always hear people talking about minnows versus jigs. Some people believe in minnows. Uh, some people believe that jigs are the only way to go because you don't have to mess with the minnows, uh, keep having to put them on your hook with the jig. You can just keep on fishing, 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 fishing. Uh, you know, I even know some guides uh, up at Eufaula that uh, live by jigs, you know? But I'm, I'm actually a person, I kind of prefer minnows, but you know what? Today we're just gonna, we're gonna find out for ourselves. I found some crappie, I've got a brush pile right here, and it is just stacked with crappie, so let's go catch some fish, guys. All right, so what I got right now is a minnow on the bottom, and then I got a jig on the top. There's a minnow, the Mr. Crappie hook. I got a sinker for the minnow, and I've got my jig on the top. What I'm gonna do is just pitch it up over this brush pile right here to see how many, count and see how many we get of each. Oh, got a couple of them chasing it right here. Oh, we got one, let's see what we caught it on. And minnow number one. Well, that's a good looking crappie too. Look at that crappie. Woo! Man, there are some huge crappie down there. I can see them. Minnow number one, crappie number one. Let's let this guy go. Put him back in his home. Grab another minnow. So you can easily see this is the downfall of using minnows. Uh, even if, if they might be the best out there, who knows, we'll find out after this video. Even if they are the best, the thing about it is you gotta and you just got to deal with them. You know, you got to put a new minnow on every single time you catch a fish. So now we got pretty far away from this brush pile, so we're going to have to get back up there. Let's scoot on back. Yep, so what I'm going to do is actually cast it, cast it over there. Let it fall down. There he is right there. There's one good crappie. Minnow number two for the good crappie. Look at this slab right here. It's a good crappie. Minnow number two. Boom. Right there. Minnow number two, crappie number two. Minnow two, jig zero. Very nice slab. Let's let this one go. We're not gonna keep any of these. We're just trying to see what's better. So what I'm gonna do now is actually switch it up. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this jig on the bottom. So I'm just gonna cut it right here. And then I'm actually gonna take this hook and I'm gonna put it above, above the jig because I wanna make sure that it's not, that they're not just biting that minnow because it's the first one that they're seeing. I wanna make sure that we're getting an accurate reading here. All right, so now we got the jig on the bottom. Now we're gonna try the minnow on the top. And you know, it's gonna be interesting to see. What I wanna look for to see is, I wanna see if they actually bypass. When I drop this jig down there, are they gonna bypass that jig and continue up and just say, basically forget the jig, let's go get the minnow. Because what that's gonna do is teach us a lot. You know, it's gonna show us, it's gonna tell us whether they really do prefer the minnow over the jig. Drop our jig down there, there he is. Okay, so now the jig is above the brush pile. Uh, here comes a crappie looking at it. Let's see if they even notice the, the minnow up there. There he is right there. Let's see what we caught him on. Oh, it is on the jig. 
Look at that, guys. Look at that nice crappie. It's a nice crappie that is on the jig. So now we got... Now it's a smaller crappie. It's not as big, but that's crappie number three. We've been here 10 minutes. Boy, that's a beautiful crappie. Let's let him go. So what I did... So we got... The score is currently minnow two and jig one, but I just switched my jig. I just moved the jig to the bottom. So you know what? That may have a lot to do with it, guys. Who knows? You know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this minnow on the bottom again because I just stopped getting bites. I mean, it's like they're not even wanting. If I put that jig down there first, it almost spooks them away. And then they're not even interested in the the live bait. So I'm actually gonna put the minnow back on there on the bottom. All right, now we got the minnow back on the bottom. We got our jig back on top, which is how we were catching them when we very first got here. So if we go back to this technique and start catching them again, that's gonna tell us a lot. Oh, there he is right there. That's a nice crappie, guys. A big, big crappie. He is a big one. Good size. So, man, I mean that that'll tell you a lot right there. I, it was like they, they they turned off like a light switch. I put this jig on and and it just turned off. Turned off like a light switch. I caught one crappie with it, and I thought, okay, well, maybe it just has to do with the you know whichever jigs on bottom is the one that they're gonna bite you know whatever bait you put on the bottom is the one they're going to bite but after watching the live scope and using both i just i just don't know i mean it, it seems to me like they like they really like this this minnow let's let this guy go so we're just going to drop it down again right in front of them right on top of this brush pile and just do the same exact thing and watch them and just see what this what the reaction is you know, we didn't have a bite one when we had the jig on the bottom. And, oh, man, got another bite. And, guys, it's another massive crappie. Woo! He's running. There he is. Come on in here, boy. This is good eating size crappie right here. So, guys, I think we're minnows four, jig number one. And the way to do it so far today has been to put the minnow on the bottom. Let's let this guy go. These are all good eating crappie right here. This is, you know, uh, this is crappie you could legally take home and and uh, fillet. So that uh, this is just crazy. Um, when we put the jig on the bottom, they just it just turned off like a light switch. Unbelievable. Uh, this will, I mean, this will kind of just go to show you how finicky these crappie are. They like what they like. They know what they like. They know what they don't like. And you just got to give it to them the way they want it, you know. So just put another one down there again. Put a minnow and a jig on top. And a minnow, and there we go again. There's another another crappie. I can tell this is a good one. Oh, yeah. Another good crappie in there. He just got away. So if you want to count that last catch, that was a catch and release. Uh, <laughs> that was uh, number five on the minnow and uh, one on the jig i will say the one that we caught on the jig we caught him pretty quick um as soon as we dropped it down there it was wham he caught it feel him bumping it bumping around bumping around there he is right there let's see what we got him on we got him on the minnow again they're just eating these minnows up oh golly he thumped the heck out of that and he took my minnow you know it, and that's just the thing i mean you know when you're when you go fishing or you're reading on facebook or you're trying to figure out what the fish are biting on you know the best thing to do is just bring both bring live bait i always bring live bait no matter what i bring minnows with me every single time i always have a number two hook i always have split shots and then i always have my bone tag my uh bonehead then i always have my bonehead jigs i just do uh because depending on what they're wanting i'm gonna be i'm gonna be ready for them 
Uh, this is the brush pile we're fishing right here, guys. You can see it right there on the live scope. That's all the crappie on it. And what I'm doing is just putting it right above it, right above that brush pile and just holding it steady, waiting on a bite. There he is. Oh, uh, man, that feels like a good one. Boy, it is. And guess what, guys? On the minnow again. So that is right inside the jaw, right where you want to be hooked to the, that's where you want to hook a bass, right there through both the jaws. Get them nice and hooked through the barbs. Felt pretty good, so. Okay, so now what I got to do, because I'm just, I just got to do it to make it fair, I have to put the jig back on the bottom again. And then just make sure that, you know, the first time wasn't a fluke. Or something like that so all right guys so now i got my what i've done is i've switched it around i got my jig on the bottom got my jig on the bottom got my minnow on top we're gonna try this again just to make sure that uh that it wasn't just a one-time thing bad luck so to speak we're gonna double test out our hypothesis which is that if you're gonna use jigs and minnows, put your minnow on the bottom. Uh, seemed to freak them out earlier when the jig was on the bottom. And, it, and the jig definitely was not getting any bites. There he is right there. Let's see what we got him on. Nice crappie, boys. You wouldn't believe it. Well, yes, you would believe it. It's the stinking minnow. Minnow again. Minnow number eight. Minnow eight. Jig. Jig one. Okay, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today. As you can see, clearly, minnows won today. I think we caught 10 or 11 minnows and only one on the jig. We tried to put the jig on the bottom. We tried to put the jig on the top. Pretty much tried to do everything we could to try to get them to bite that jig, and we just couldn't make it happen. So, Guys, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. Was it a good test or not?